Okay, so welcome back here. In this video, what we're going to be doing is I'm gonna talk about these paints right here. This is the same paint. This is the uh, Benjamin Moore Aura. They uh, changed the formula. This label is, is the old one, and this is the new la la label right here. Okay, and they changed the uh, formula because I guess that a bunch of the homeowners and some of the contractors were complaining that the uh, old stuff here was too thick and that it would dry too fast, whether it would dry on, on their brush or on their roller or even in their in the uh, roller set up in like the in the cage there, it would dry in like the roller pan. Okay, so what Benjamin Moore did is they loosened up the uh, new stuff here. And um, for those of you that don't know, this is the extender that Benjamin Moore has, and they've had this for uh, for uh, many years now. And um, if you were unhappy with the formula or the stiffer for formula that they had in the past, what you could do is add some of, of the extender here to it, okay? And some people found that great, especially if they used the Benjamin Moore, the Aura to do like trim and doors and whatnot, where you need that, that extended open time. Because if you just try to use this all, all by itself, it would dry too fast. So, so if, for instance, if uh, you were doing a door with like a brush and roller and whatnot, and you painted like the top part of it, and then you went back down. Then when you went, went back in to touch up a part of like the uh, top of the door, once this starts to uh, set up, then you can't go back into it and it would come out and it would look all awful. So what the people would do is they would add this to the Aura, the uh, satin sheen, and it would extend the open time to it. So it takes a lot longer to dry out here. Um, so from my, from, I have tried out the uh, new stuff and it basically just seems like they just added this to this, okay? So it's not as thick and it, and it runs more, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is the uh, color here is the classic gray and I believe it's OC25, okay? So they're both the same color and they're both the aura in the eggshell, okay? And again, they changed the uh, formula just like yeah, a few months ago. So we're going to just test out and see what the uh, viscosity is of uh, about uh, both of them here. So I'm gonna use my five and one here to quickly open this up right here. And if you don't have one of these and you can use a, a flathead screwdriver here. Okay, so you can basically see that both of these are, are the same in a collar. Okay, so I'll put that down there. And I have two of the mixing sticks, sticks here. So I'm gonna stick this one into the old stuff and just give this a, a swirl, okay? And I'll stick this in here. Now I can tell just by swirling around the stick here that this one is much looser than uh, this one right here. And to prove that, what I'll do is I'll just place these two right in the middle here and we'll see which one stays in the middle and which one falls to the side. Okay, so as you can see, the one that's on your right, which is this this one right here, it falls to the side much quicker than 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 the old one, which I'll put in the middle there. Okay, so that's proof that that they that they basically they took the extender and added it to the uh, new stuff, to uh, so you'll have a. Uh, a much longer open time here. And then this is just a, another experiment to see if one drips more than the other. And it's hard to tell with this one because the one that is on your left, the old stuff, more of the paint is going to cling to this one here. So there's more paint that's going to be able to fall into the old paint with the, with the help of our gravity versus this one right here, where it's so thin that you don't have the, uh, the uh, thickness on it so you can't real 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 really tell by, by by that example but you can definitely tell by just putting the uh, sticks in, in the middle here and as you can see the one that the uh, newer stuff it just falls to the to the side much mu much easier so what does that mean for uh, you the homeowner or a contractor when you're trying to cut in this on on, on like a wall it's going to flow a lot e e e easier okay but the uh, downside to that is the it's it's going to take much longer to uh, to uh, dry out, okay? 
Um, and the thing about this paint right here is whenever you paint with this, whenever you cut in, before you can roll it out, you have to make sure that where you cut in, that that has completely dried before you start to, to uh, roll it out. Because you don't want to start to roll this stuff out onto an area where you cut in and it hasn't really set set up yet. Because when you try to roll back in into that, it's going to screw it up and it's not going to look good. So whenever you work with this stuff, make sure wherever you cut in has dried out before you start to roll out, okay? So um, these are just some um, tips and techniques when trying to use the Benjamin Moore Aura. And hopefully I showed you some of the pros and cons of the old stuff versus the new stuff. And again, the uh, newer stuff is going to be more friendlier to uh, use, whether you're a homeowner or, or, or a contractor, because the, the, it's going to extend the, old, the open time. It's not going to dry to your brush as fast. It's not going to dry in your roller tray as uh, fast, okay? Um, and the last thing, it's probably the most important thing, is that you, you're going to be able to go back into this to try to get some of your touch-ups more than if you try to go back into this stuff where this stuff dries and sets up like so quick that if you had a drip or something like that and you went back in, in into it to get rid of that drip, it's going to screw it up. So this is going to give you more, more time to, uh, to uh, play with and hopefully you'll you'll be able to uh, use this paint. This is a great paint. It covers great. It has, it's a zero v VOC paint. So that means that it's not going to smell. So you can paint a, a bedroom ju just like this. And by the end of the day, by the time that it dries out, it's not gonna smell like a lot of the older paints that you're familiar with, okay? And again, um, it is, it, it's uh, pricey, but it's well, it's uh, worth it. It covers great. And um, some of the times you'll be able to get away with just one coat, um, but that that only works with like the grays and the browns. But if you're trying to paint with some of the whites, um, you may need to even prime first. So Benjamin Moore, they definitely need to uh, work out that I I issue with, with uh, some of their whites because they just simply don't call 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 over that good. Okay. Um, so again, this is the uh, old Aura, and this is the new formula right here. And on the old one, right here, there is a uh, there is a five, and that is the uh, number for like the base. And on the new one, there is an N. Okay, so that's just some some something to uh, to uh, remember too. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video on the Benjamin Moore Aura, and I will see you on the next one. Okay, so we've given the Wally a few days to dry out here. The Benjamin Moore, the eggshell, the, the classic gray has dried out here. I painted up a sample board of this stuff right here. I did two coats of the new formula, which is also the Benjamin Moore in the Aura eggshell. So we're going to compare both the color and in the sheen here. And these um, sample boards here are great to use. And you can see that um, the name of it is Small Wall. Okay, and it's an adhesive backed paint sample board. Okay, and if you look on the back, there's an adhesive strip. So once you paint with this, um, you can just stick this right on the wall. And this is going to give you a more accurate sam sample than trying just, just trying to compare it to a smaller one from my, from my a, a color wheel here. Okay, so these are great to uh, test out the uh, colors on the wall because you're going to get a much bit bigger sample piece here. Okay, and it has the adhesive on, on the back of it here. So I, I put it on, on the wall and then I'll show you guys what both the color 
and the sheen is going to look like in the new formula of the Benjamin Moore Aura in the eggshell. So thanks for watching.